What is the goal of every single football player that starts off their career? Well, they want to go ahead and play for the best teams and win the most trophies. And when we talk about trophies, Manchester City last season were the pinnacle of it. They have won the treble. This time around, we are becoming one of their youth academy talents, but not one of the good ones. The worst attacking youth academy talent we can find. We are going to be taking over their career and trying to become good enough for Manchester City at some point to possibly play alongside Erling Haaland if he is still there because this could be a long journey. As you guys know, Manchester City sell on their youth academy talents for great amounts of money and that way a lot of people say that they make up for the financial situations that they might run into with financial fair play. They are just being smart. But this youth academy talent is not going to be one you can give away, Manchester City. Having said that, though, we will go out on plenty of loans. So let's start our journey to become the player to hopefully play for Manchester City and lift trophies. For transparency reasons, we're going to be jumping in together. Let's see what we have. The lowest rated academy talent is the one we will be. Where does our journey take us? We have two players. Hidalgo from Paraguay or Abdallah Ibrahim from Morocco. You know what? I absolutely love that choice. I understand he's 15. I will change his age to 16 and make sure we can utilize him because as you guys might know, there has been a massive earthquake in Morocco. My heart goes out to everyone out there suffering under this one and I think this would be a nice touch. Let's jump in. Abdallah Ibrahim, I'm going to make you the best football player in world football. And boy, this is the perfect option for us. Center forward or center attacking mid. We will see which position he fits into better. But first, I got to change his age. I already forgot. Sorry, I'm dumb. Now I changed his age to 16. There we go. Promoted. Let's see if he's actually better in that camp position or possibly anywhere else. Let's get this guy in. And we will be playing one game at Manchester City. As you guys know, the rule is set. Every single season that we play, we get to play one match. And in that one match, if we do get a goal or an assist, we are capable of giving ourselves a plus 10 upgrade on any stat that we choose to. So let's put him in there. He is a minus three at striker, a plus four at left wing. Hold on a second. So he's only a plus one here. He'd be 54 rated at left wing. That's already massive. In the camp position, real quick, let's check this out. What does he go? Only to a 50, uh, what is it? 53 then? Okay, so he actually is a left winger. Do we want to be a left winger or a right winger? Because we do have a left foot. Four star skill moves as well. I think I want to be a right winger and cut inside. That's a lot more fun. Let's do this. Now that Mahrez is gone, Ibrahim, you're coming in at the perfect time. If I'm not wrong, Mahrez was Moroccan, right? No, he was Algerian. Sorry. As I say this, literally right behind my freaking face, it says Algeria. You can see it there. Danny, sometimes it's actually worth opening your eyes. So 51 rated to 2, 54. I actually love this. That Now that Mahrez is gone, this is the perfect opportunity for us to be the perfect replacement for Manchester City. They obviously brought in Doku, who is incredible. I gotta be honest. But for us, we are becoming the next Mahrez. By the way, when I do say Mahrez, I feel like a lot of people kind of disrespected him too many times. Riyad Mahrez is a player that deserves a lot more respect for what he has done at, uh, obviously, Leicester City. And now what he had done at Manchester City too. Yes, I know he was in and out of the team many, many times. But you got to give the man respect. And there's Ibrahim. I love the fact that we have that Grealish-esque a uh, hairband freaking haircut but as a number 11 a six foot tall player i'm gonna be taking my first shot i wanted to say Ooh, well we are tall we are okay on pace hopefully we can improve physicality dribbling shooting all those things and become a key player for the city team this is our first match if we get a goal contribution that is a plus 10 on any stat we choose and i already know which one i'm gonna choose it's pace we are a winger obviously we are playing preseason right now and you can immediately tell how bad my passing is but ibrahim gets the ball plays it through onto haaland 
That could be the combination of the future. And he scores. A plus 10 has been secured. Haaland with Ibrahim. That could be the partnership for years to come. But first, we will be going out on loan to multiple clubs for multiple seasons. Gaining experience all around the world to come back to Manchester City one day and try and win the Champions League alongside Haaland. I love the fact that he got the ball with a nice tackle and then played the perfect pass for a 54-rated player. That's not too bad, is it? Let's get that plus 10 upgrade. As you guys might know, we do play on ultimate difficulty in all these matches with the sliders turned up for the AI to be even better. So his journey is not going to be an easy one. But he does have 67 sprint speed, which we need to change instantly. We're going to take our plus 10 and add it on top of it. Now, he is a 55 rated player coming in with the sprint speed. No, sorry, uh, acceleration of 77, not sprint speed. His acceleration was a 67. I upgraded it to a 77 because I feel like acceleration is even more important for a winger. Especially if you're coming out of skill moves. I feel like that one makes a big difference. So yeah, four-star skill or three-star weak foot, left-footed, can play multiple positions. Ibrahim is up on the loan list. Let's see where he goes. And here comes the first loan of our career. Ibrahim, where are you going? Let's show the people. We're getting let out of by Manchester... Let... Not let out. Left out by Manchester City to join the likes of EFK Vernamo. I have to be completely honest. I have no clue which league this is in. If it's a good team, a bad team. So I'm very excited to join right now because I have a feeling that we might not be too low rated for the team. Let's see if that's true. So I've joined the team. Yes, we are part of Vernamo. Yes, we have gone along with Ibrahim to join them. And this is their squad. Okay. I honestly have no clue who is who. But that right wing position... It's not looking too bad, you know. We could definitely jump in here and play alongside this team. Get something done for them. And this is in the Swedish division, by the way. Yes, we are part of the Swedish league, which I don't think I've gone into many times. But in terms of rating, this seems just about perfect. This could be our new home. So let's hope we do well and get a good season out of this in terms of growth. And maybe even at plus 10. I'll be simulating half a season forward. And then I'll see who is first in the league table. And we'll be playing against them to make it even harder on ourselves. One thing I didn't realize was the Swedish league actually finishes in December. So we are already technically in the next season here. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, we have Hammarby to play. Hammarby is the team I'm choosing for Ibrahim to step up against. We have a match against them on the 23rd of April. So let's dive in straight away and see how we can do against that side. The big question is, what rating do we jump in with? Because we have had nearly a full season of growth already. So here is Ibrahim's rating right now. He is at a 60. Love that. 75 pace, five star weak foot now with the four star skills. That's going to be quite helpful. Possibly. Depends on how I play now. Man, I actually don't remember ever watching a game in the Swedish division. Oh, look at the Hammarby fans on the left there. They have green smoke going up. I didn't even know that was a thing on FIFA. That's the first time I've seen it. I might be blind. But it's Ibrahim's chance to impress on that right wing. It's a beautiful pitch, a beautiful day in Sweden. Can we do well here and prove ourselves to get that plus 10 once more? Ibrahim on the wing, expecting the ball, chesting it down, cuts in, plays it, gets it back once more. 1v1, cross at the far post, you see someone, pal. Oh, off the crossbar, <laughs> I'll take that. Down the right, I'm just going to call him Ibra. Ibra, here he goes. He has his teammate making a run, it's a good run. Engval, can he get past people though? I don't believe he can. Engval plays the pass into Ibrahim. He's on his left foot, cuts inside once more, past a couple of people, and the shot is just bad. Our finishing must suck. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I had my chances. I let my team down. 1-0 to Hammerby. 
That's something I can't expect. Except, come on now. Let's do something here. At least a draw. Back to our defender in the middle. Oh, I love that. Ibra. Weak foot is good, isn't it? Yes! The weak foot is good! Get in! I just realized he has the number 13 on his back, but it's not an unlucky number for him. Ibra scores his first goal. Get in, buddy! Congratulations! You earned yourself another plus 10. And possibly a good result against a, a league-leading team, Hammerby. The game actually ended 2-2. Ibra scored another goal in the 86th minute. He is the one for this squad. Let's go ahead and finish up this season and see what we need to improve. Ibra currently has 53 finishing and that's unacceptable. So let's move ourselves up in that category. Going from a 61 to a 62 due to it. His finishing has improved to that 63 rating. You could tell in that one game that we played where he got past everyone and then missed the target. That clearly was the moment where I knew finishing needs to be better. So hopefully we can continue the growth of this player. Now though, we have to return to Manchester City. Only like half a season played here that I can showcase to you guys. But in those 19 games, he's managed to get three goals and one assist. Having said that though, two of those goal contributions in the game we actually played so not that great but we're going back to city to then find a new home and off goes the boy just returned to manchester city to be walked out once again this time we are going from sweden across to of course turkey gaziantep is the team we're joining it's one of the worst teams over there in Turkey. So maybe there is a perfect spot for our man to jump into. Don't expect an incredible season from this team, but there could be lots of growth for Ibrahim in Turkey. My main goal at this team obviously will be to try and get as close to the 70 rating as I can. And oh, lots of players below the 70 rating here, which makes things quite interesting. Seems like they don't actually have a right wing. So this is the perfect spot for us to come into. Where the hell is Ibrahim? There he is. Did you have some players? Oh, they have Markovic. Did you have Maxim? Okay, so I'll go ahead and change up the squad real quick. Put the best players into the starting 11. And then possibly get a game against one of the big teams in Turkey. Like the likes of Fener, Gala, Besiktas, Trabzon. Let's see who it's gonna be after half a season i'll check the league table and see as i had mentioned gaziantep is one of the worst teams in this division the worst goal difference as it stands halfway through the season and galatasaray is first so we're gonna take on galatasaray ourselves we're gonna be on the pitch and we are 65 rated as we speak Praying and hoping we can take him to at least a 67 by the end of the year. And maybe even get that plus 10 right now against Gala. Obviously, they are stepping onto the pitch with much higher rated players. The squads are not updated yet. But I can tell you the Turkish League has brought in some quality players. If you have seen the transfers, what do you think of it? Do you think Turkish clubs might stand a chance in the Conference League or Europa League? Let me know in the comments down below, as I don't think Champions League is going to be a success for any of them. I'll be honest. Lovely. Over to the right. Oh, this is great football. Boss Kapan inside. Ibrahim, he hasn't gotten an assist yet. Or a goal. Let's go, dude. Straight away, seven minutes in, and we are immediately at the right spot. I have to say... He might be one of the best youth academy players we have taken control of so far. Even though he's six foot tall, he is good with his dribbling. Great skill moves on top of it. And now that we have increased his finishing, he scores great goals. The plus 10 is secured already. Let's go, dude. So after that goal, we earned ourselves a plus 10. He only has 76 dribbling as we speak. And obviously, I want that to be even better. So, Ibrahim, you now have still 76 dribbling because I haven't pressed apply. Hold on a second. Guys, this is a great video. I'm actually sick at this. But there we go. He goes from a 65 to a 67 just due to the fact that his dribbling has gone from a 76 to an 86. 
That is amazing. That's what he needed. A plus two. It's great. And we still have plenty of months to go. So possibly going up to 68 is still in the books for this season. Season's done. Our team finished in the 17th position, which if I remember correctly, means you get relegated in Turkey. So that's not ideal. 31 points could possibly go even lower because some teams have not played all of their matchups, it seems. But guys, I told you it's gonna be a tough journey for us here, but it has been, specifically and individually for Ibrahim, it has been a great year. Lots of upgrades, 69 rated. I assume that's like a plus what? Plus seven, possibly? He has gone up by plus seven. Let's go, dude. How well did you do? He brought in eight goals and three assists. That is much better already. Now, as a 69 rated player, there are many doors that are opening up for us. And which loan deal would make the most sense? This time, I won't just straight away accept the first offer we get. I have to think about this one. The loan deal has been perfected once more. And we are going to a great club. A club that has won the UEFA, what was it? Under 19th Champions League. So, there's a lot of room for youth over there. We are joining... In the Eredivisie, AZ Alkmaar. For 12 months, a whole season, we're going to be part of that team. And I can tell you, I know a bit of that club. So hopefully Ibrahim will fit in perfectly. Because that right wing position, last season at least, wasn't that great. It was all going over the left wing where Jesper Karlsson was playing. So this could be very good for AZ Alkmaar. We can supply some of their great players with assists and get some goals ourselves. So joining is at Alkmaar as the coach to be able to track what our players are doing, obviously. And we are looking at a team that has brought in Isaksen. Okay, so no more Jesper Karlsson. Is that what happened here? So Ibrahim joins in. Obviously, I need them to play right wing. So I'm sorry, Odgaard. Barassi up top. Okay, so no Pavlidis. Mainans in a cam position. Classy and Reinders. Reinders obviously having joined AC Milan. Mikhailovic on an 80 rating in real life. He's not the preferred player. Uh, it is actually Mainans playing in there. But, uh, oh, actually it's De Witt and Mainans has dropped the center midfield to make uh, the replacement for Reinders, who has obviously gone to Italy. But uh, yeah, AZ is looking somewhat interesting. They have brought in Kai Wagner to play over instead of Kerkes. Obviously, Kerkes has joined Benfica. So, lots of interesting things happening here at AZ Alkmaar. But no more Jesper Karlsson and no more Pavlidis. So, that could be quite interesting. Let's see what we can achieve as the right winger in this team. Isaksin will be turned into a left winger. An odd guard. Oh boy. I'm sorry, buddy. But you ain't getting playtime over here. Guess who we are playing against? AZ Alkmaar, 42 points. PSV Eindhoven in the first position with 47. This is a great opportunity to have a massive impact on the season and possibly push AZ to the title. Would love to do that. Let's jump in. Show me what you got, PSV Eindhoven. Seems like Xavi Simmons is still here. That's cheating. That happened to me already once, but hey, anyways. Here we are, my friends. Also, only days away from FC24 content soon, hopefully. I am counting the days, guys. It's going to be great. And honestly, I really, really hope that the way they have set up career mode now will offer chances to make new types of content. Not once have I touched player career mode this season. But maybe in FC24, I will. We are down 1-0 straight away. And you know what? Even if I score one goal or get an assist, we are playing this full game. I need AZ to try and win the title. Come on, lads. Let's do something with this great ball. He sucks in. Come on, son. Sprint. Score. Ah, oh, you got to put that into the back of the net. I don't like till. Yes. You came out. Thank you. He sucks in. One, two. One, two, he sucks in. Yes. Go on, son. Do something with it. Go on. This time, it must be a goal. Please. Yes. No involvement of Ibrahim, but we'll take it. It's 1-1. One, one, and now I need to make more changes. Who do I bring on? Do I bring on my nans up top? Mihailovic could possibly play at striker. He genuinely could. You know what? My nans comes in in the cam position. I need to do it. I don't like the striker we had so far. Yes. Go on. Cut over. Yes. 
Sven, good pass into Ibrahim. Come on. No, that is a horrible finish. Oh, Ibrahim, man. I could have had such a big impact on the rest of the season and you bottle it like that. Oh, uh, yes. Let's go. Counter attack. Sven, sending Ibrahim on a run. Ibrahim, going. Long shot, maybe? Oh, no, no. Why did I even think he could do that? Oh, great interception. Ibrahim, assist. No, he might score himself. Yes, 85th minute. It's Ibrahim scoring the goal. Get in, buddy. What a finish. The 1-2 with Sven Meinens or Mikhailovic. I don't even know who it was. It doesn't even matter. What matters is this could be a crucial moment for AZ season. And we could be a big part of it. And the plus 10 is secured. Get in. You gotta be kidding. You have to be kidding, bro. 90th minute. Get out of here. I thought I did something special, man. And I just didn't. I really didn't. Unless we can do something crazy right now. Go on, Ibrahim. Nope, he can't. Well, it was <laughs> it was worth a try, I guess. Oh, hold on. There might be too much pressure on this guy. And there is. Come on, Sven. Sven Meinand. What? You can't blow the whistle there. No way. Hold on a second. Wait, was that offside or something? Why did he blow the whistle there? Is there is that offside by any chance? So as he touches the ball there, is he actually off? No, he isn't. You gotta be kidding. He blew the whistle as I'm through on goal. Oh, mate, this is rigged. PSV is gonna win it, surely. Guess what, though? We won the title. Yes, PSV. Suck on that. He's at Alkmaar getting that first position. 72 points. I mean, hey, Ajax got involved towards the end as well on 70 points. Unlucky pals. Uh, Feyenoord way too far away for my liking. But hey, this has been a great season for our boy. Possibly his best uh, in terms of like the level he played at here. 75 rated, 84 pace, 82, 82 dribbling. Those things look nice. But since I have the opportunity to give him that plus 10, I, I don't know where to go with it. Stamina is good. Sprint speed is good. Agility, possibly 71 agility to 81. I mean, composure is not that important to me right now. Attack positioning, it only affects AI in my opinion. Um, ball control looks good. Dribbling looks good. Finishing 69. Do I upgrade that? I think, you know what? I think I'm going to go with it. I want him to be a more clinical finisher, which now in turn takes him from a 75 to a 76. He has been upgraded as we speak. 79 finishing now. So that is lovely. We are slowly becoming a player that Manchester City owners need to look at and realize, hey, maybe there is some player there that we are keeping on loaning out that we might have to keep. But... I'm still too low rated. I need to do more. Let's go back to Manchester City. Knowing that we had 11 goals and one assist in the edit of EC. That is really good. Considering we started off over here with a 69 rating. I've made my decision. I am going to Spain. And I'm not going to a club that's linked to Manchester City. Which would be Girona. But I will be joining a team that a lot of people kind of sympathize with for some reason. We are joining the likes of Real Betis to play alongside Nabi Fekir in case he is still there. But I would love to push this squad into a European spot in the league if possible. If not, hopefully we can showcase that we are capable of playing in a top five league. And that's the one thing I'm trying to achieve while also Getting past the 80 rating, of course. So we're joining Real Betis. Uh, let's take a look into their squad. William Jose up top. That's not impressive. Demir Bayet Cam, also not impressive. Rodriguez and Cavallo. Okay. Genepo at left midfield. Sangare. Ooh. I like him a lot more than Cavallo. I gotta say that. Andefin. Diakite. Ba as well. Ooh, okay. So we have a little bit of an issue there. I mean, he he could play centre-back if he needs to. Diakite is capable of that. In goal, we have Silva. Andrich is a good player. 
I like him too. Plays at Leverkusen. Right now, he's out of the starting 11. Oh, we have Burkhardt. A big talent from Germany. Sadly, had to deal with a lot of injuries lately. Oh, look at that. So, first of all, Ibrahim, of course, joins in right wing. Easy choice. But then we have other players. Skov Olsen. He goes on to left wing. Let's go, Betis. You brought in some good players. Lovro Mayer. Let's go, buddy. Great signings, Betis. Then we have Trippier. We have Unastal, who I actually really, really like. I think he's a quality keeper for Twente. And then we have the likes of Juan Cruz, but Krejci as well, who's a centre-back, who could take over right here. Maybe it might be worth playing three at the back with this team, because Krejci is a good one. Diakite, right back over Bar. Bar plays for Benfica. Generally speaking, very happy with this team, guys. I gotta admit... Pretty good squad they have put together here. Something happened that I didn't expect. And it's not the fact that Real Betis right now after 18 games is on 24 points. It's actually who's at the top of the league table. You're already realizing Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, no one up there. It's freaking Osasuna. So we're going to be playing against Osasuna right now. Our next match is against them. I'm excited to see who they have in their team. But this is the lineup I have put together in order for us to go ahead and do our best in this setup. Guys, I think it's the best way to utilize these players and get the best out of the team. So hopefully it's going to work in terms of gameplay as well. I honestly just want to see why the hell this Osasuna team is sat in first place. But at the same time, I love it. I really do. Here is Ibrahim. I didn't even check what his rating is. There he goes. He sees a run and finds absolutely no pass. Let me just see. What's his rating? 78. Uh, it's not amazing. And here we go. The right back is making a great run. It's Bar. At Benfica, he gets involved. And here he does too. This could be the chance for us to pick up an assist. And it won't be. There's still a chance to do something with this. Over to Bar. Inside. There he is. Yes. Let's go, buddy. We score our goal. It's 1-0. Burkhardt gets it. And it is an assist for Ibrahim, right? I think it was. Let me double check. There we are. Yes, it's an assist for us. Get in. I just wanted to make sure. Two players down on the floor. Across to Ibrahim. Left foot. Finesse onto the crossbar. That seems to be one of the things we can do as well. I love it. You know what I just realized? How about we implement a system into these Academy videos where if we win a title, whether it be a domestic one or an international one, we are able to get ourselves a trait, activate a trait that he doesn't have. Let me know about it in the comments down below. Hashtag trait. No. And that for me, Matt. Where is my goalkeeper diving off to? What are you doing? Honestly, take a look at this once more. I mean, of course, it's not great defending. Sangare is going backwards to cover someone who's not on the ball. Makes no sense. This guy's like close. What is the goalkeeper doing? He should be fired for that. I want to win this game. Hence why I'm going to play this until the end. It's 1-1. I want something more out of this game against the first place team. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, wow. That's it. That's it. It's 2-1. Oh, man. I thought I could actually have an impact and help this team win, but I don't see it happening. Sadly, I couldn't do anything. We lost 2-1, but guys, we have gotten ourselves the upgrade, and I'm gonna go with the short passing. It's a 73 right there. Let's go across and come back. It's an 83 right now. His passing was his worst ability. Now it's up to a 71 overall in passing, but obviously short passing up to an 83. And hopefully we can get him to at least an 80, maybe even an 81 by the end of the season. Five star, five star. We're working on his passing, as you can see, and the attack positioning as well. Shot power, probably something I need to work on next time around. But yeah, I couldn't beat Osasuna. 
they actually deserve that first spot. May 2026, the season is done. Let's see how things have gone for us. Now, we have gone up to an 81 rating. Okay, I will take that. I like that. Very, very good for Ibrahim. Now, for the team itself, 12th position. I think that really is surprising considering the team that we have put together. And Osasuna has dropped to the 6th position. Real Madrid wins the league title. I think it's only fair if I say I want Ibrahim to get one more season on loan. One more club where we actually can be part of something going after titles. That's what I want to go for. So let's see which club is going to pick him up. But at first, his stats, 8-8. Eight and eight. That's good enough for me. That's a very good season considering it's our first season in Spain. 8 goals, 8 assists. Very, very good. So hopefully some clubs will see this. And understand that they can loan in a great player who's on the brink of becoming a superstar before going back to Manchester City fully. So where is this journey going? Where do I want to play to win a title? Well, guys, it's actually a big one. We are going to play with Mbappe. How can you prepare to play with Alant? If you haven't played with Mbappe, right? So who is in this PSG squad? Mbappe better be here. Of course he is. And they are still playing this odd freaking formation. But Mbappe is clearly lacking partners up front. He has Kukju. He does have Bruno. Bastoni is here. Laporte is here. We also have Diallo still here. Hakimi. Tierney. Interesting. Ramsey, that's a good one. Love that. He will join us for Fana. Let's go. Sorry, didn't mean to take out Bastoni there, but uh, we clearly do have a quite decent squad right here. Any good players on the bench? Oh, yes, Mr. Jimenez. Santiago Jimenez. I absolutely love him. And then we, of course, have Ibrahim as well, who we probably shouldn't forget. But we will have to find a formation that works for us. So let me go ahead and change a few things. Well, PSG, you are struggling. What the hell, man? We are on 42 points. Stadrene is in the first position. This is my chance to prove myself halfway through the season. Ibrahim, 83 rated. We are playing in a 4-2-4 super attacking formation. Turned Ramsey into a left wing where he actually got an upgrade, which is good to see. But guys, this is a must-win game. I need the title in France. I have no fear going into this game. I have some great teammates alongside me. The best ones we have had so far. And we are higher rated than ever before on top of it. Look at Ibrahim going in there with confidence. Straight away sees his teammate Guimaraes Mbappe in the center. It's Jimenez turning, shooting, Golasso, Ibrahim gets his assist straight away, lovely work, four minutes in, ultimate difficulty and all that, you cannot stop me, Stade René, that title is supposed to be in Paris, oh, no, stop, stop him, oh, Donnarumma, thank you, what a huge moment, defensively, that could be the biggest moment of the game, Mbappe sprinting. Ibrahim finds him. Mbappe to make it 2 0. Easy. Easy. Counter attacking after a huge save of Donnarumma. Ibrahim gets two goal contributions. The plus 10 has been secured for quite a while. Look at him. He's a happy boy. Bruno all the way to the right. Ibrahim 1v1 gets past him, gets taken out, gets a penalty. I don't think that's a penalty, I'll be completely honest with you. But I will take it. Thank you, Karim Reykik. Mbappe, who do you think you are? Taking that penalty away from me. I want my hat-trick of goal contributions. Here we go. Bottom left. Yes! This game is done. PSG is going for that title. And Ibrahim is having a season to remember we have won that game of course but i am going for the upgrade in a stat that doesn't take us above the rating he's at already he has 68 shot power right now upgrading it to a 78 and we are still 84 rated it is what it is but i do want that shot power to be better because otherwise it's going to be tough for us to get past goalkeepers sometimes and at the end psg are dominating as usual but it's okay so we will happily take that 
another title after our title win with AZ Alkmaar. Now we are taking some trophies on our resume as we go back to Manchester City as an 86 rated player. Get in, I love that. Goal contributions, 15 and 19. Abdallah Ibrahim is ready for a good season or two at Manchester City to go and achieve his dreams of playing alongside Haaland and lifting that Champions League trophy. Talking about that, PSG, by the way, we were part of the Champions League campaign. We did lose against Real Madrid. So that's only fair. A boy has rejoined Manchester City and take a look at this incredible team. Ibrahim at right wing, 86. Haaland, 94. Foden, 90. Pedri, 92. Rodri. Miretti is part of this squad with Reese James, Ruben Dish, uh, Marquinhos and Cancelo in this squad as well. And Ederson. Obviously, a lot of aging players. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne now on an 85, 36 years old. Uh, we do have Schlotterbeck who can take over from Marquinhos in case he drops in his rating. He's 33 years old. But this is the squad I want our boy to go ahead and get the Champions League and the Premier League title with if possible. But I'm going to do one thing, which I didn't do before. He's an academy kid, so he gets the captaincy. The fans would be very happy with that. I decided to not play against a single team in the Premier League because our team is doing somewhat well in the Champions League. And we do get past Juventus. We do get past Bayern Munich to play against Ajax to then probably play against PSG or Real Madrid. In the Champions League final. Yes, we made it there. FA Cup final against Newcastle is a win. Is there a chance for a treble? Can we repeat what Manchester City has done in real life? That would be amazing. I cannot wait to see the league table. And maybe even the Carabao Cup has been won. Let's check it out. So, we are in the final against PSG. Carabao Cup. We didn't win it. Fulham won it. Congrats. FA Cup. Come on now. Let's go. All right. We win that one. And is it a double? No, it isn't. Chelsea ends up winning the Premier League. Congratulations. I was thinking about playing it against them, but then decided against it because the season was going well. But most importantly, Mr. Abdallah Ibrahim on a 91 rating. This guy is ready for it all. Apart from strength and composure, which look horrible and aggression, actually. He has some great stats right here. I am very excited to step onto the pitch. He has been great every time we played. And now, alongside a 95-rated Erling Haaland, this is going to be a joy for us to jump into. And as I said, Marquinhos dropped in his rating, so Schlotterbeck comes in, and we will take on PSG. Before we do that, one last check. How many goals? Ooh, 41 and 6 for Haaland, but more importantly, Abdallah Ibrahim, 24 and 27. This guy has 51 goal contributions in 58 games. This is the best academy talent that we have put together. Let's go. Let's play against our former team that we led to a title. PSG now staying with the formation. Interesting that that actually happens. I didn't know that that's a thing. Cool. We're playing against the 4-2-4. Very attacking. That could actually be bad for them. Bastoni and PSG are ready, but so is Ibrahim and the rest of the Manchester City squad. We know exactly what this what this PSG can, team can do. And I believe throughout all the Academy player videos we have done so far, this might be the first time we're actually up against one of the teams that we played against in our career in the Champions League final. There goes Ibrahim. He's offside straight away. Too eager to get involved. And the captain. Ooh, Jimenez is through. Jimenez will not miss from there. He obviously will not miss. Great finish from the Mexican striker. Mbappe gets his assist. Our defense is too far apart from each other. Santiago Jimenez got me an assist last time I played with him. This time, 
He is hurting us. Across to the right into the feet of Reese James, who is obviously capable of finding this great pass. And we will get that corner. And Ibrahim will be close. Here he goes. 1v1. He is left-footed. He cuts in. He finesses. It's nothing for Donnarumma, sadly. Pedri. Across to Miretti. Pedri. Again. Miretti. Sending. Ibrahim on a run. It's a great one. He cuts in. And I don't think that was the right decision. I should have played a pass or taken a shot. We still have possession, though. So that's good. Moving it down the center into Pedri. Pedri cuts outside. Sees the run down the wing. Ibrahim cuts back in. Finds Pedri into the center and the finish of phil foden he doesn't even go for the right footed shot it's a left footer into the top right 1-1 the equalizer is in we weren't heavily involved but we were part of the build up here and Mbappe could be through oh he actually is or is he oh, ruben dish how the hell did you catch up to mbappe i can't believe it phil foden Goes for a long ball for Ibrahim, but... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I should have passed it to Haaland. He was completely open. I have been very selfish there. That was unnecessary. This could cost us in the end. Mbappe, that tackle was bad. Mbappe again. It's Reese James bouncing off of him. Reese, I thought you were known for having all the muscle in the world, man. It's 2-1. It's Jimenez again. It's Mbappe to Jimenez. It's the same pattern that we used as well. Congratulations, PSG. You have two insane strikers. Well done. Schlotterbeck catches up with Mbappe. He still somehow keeps going. It's ridiculous. Okay, we have the ball. Pedri. No, that's Miretti. What a ball that is for Phil Foden. He cuts in. Finds Haaland. You have to be kidding, Haaland. You cannot miss that. It's basically an open net. Ibrahim, can you save us here? Ibrahim cuts in. Goes for it. Plays the pass. Miretti. Shot taken. Goal missed. I cannot believe it. It's the team that we improved. That took us apart in the end. I am actually shocked. We did so well throughout our career. It was genuinely one of the only times where I felt like, yes, this guy is amazing. We're going to get it done with him. But instead, Haaland fails in front of Mbappe. And PSG, the team that we took to the title to qualify for this, has beaten us. Guys, hey. That's the drama of football. A beautiful story so far. Sadly ends in tears. Jimenez and Mbappe. They just were the better players today. Ibrahim tried his best. It wasn't enough. Thank you so much for watching. I am sorry for not winning it in the end. But PSG, you deserved it. That's the reason why we play on the highest difficulty settings we can set up. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you all. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care and peace.